Hello everyone, today we're going to be making an infinite runner on scratch and in this video we're going to focus on making the main menu. So let's jump straight in. First thing we want to do is make our backdrop for the game. So I'm just going to call this back background. So now I'm going to make it a nice theme. That's a nice sky color. What we're going to do is actually make a sprite. I'm going to draw a sprite here, grab the pen, five, and I'm going to go for a nice orange color. I'm going to call this title. Alright, so there is the title. So what we want to do is go to events, when green flag clicked, set ghost effect to zero, show, uh, let's just do that like that, that, let's just do that as well. We don't need that, it's just I want it to stay in that position, permanently stay in that position, I'm just do that. Alright, lovely. So now once we've made the title sprite for our game, uh, the reason why we haven't done this in the backdrop is so uh, as you can see here in the code uh, we have a ghost effect so we're going to make it so it nice transition from when we click a play button which will be somewhere along the bottom here it will fade out let's go um, choose a uh, no we didn't make a sprite because making the play button you don't have to you can export your own uh, sprite by going to choose a costume and uploading a costume uh, or you could just go to choose a sprite, upload a sprite. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go color picker. Can I pick that color? I can't. All right, let me quickly go ahead and get this color. 1110. All right. 1110. Lovely. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. There we go. And I'm going to drag that down on the bottom here. Uh, I'm going to rename the sprite to play. You can call it whatever you want as long as you know what it is for later use. And we're going to drag this code here to there. But instead of this, we're just going to remove that block and grab this one. All right. So once we've you know, made these two sprites here, we want to on make sure this is on the play button. We want to go to events when the sprite clicked. And we want to broadcast new message play want to when I receive play want to change ghost effect by minus 10 and we want to repeat this 10 times wait 0.1 seconds oh wait no it's because it's minus 10 I need to put it on 10 my bad you can see it slowly fades away however that is quite you know slow so if we just do that look how much smoother that was lovely stuff so uh, what we're going to do now is drag this over to the title and clean it up lovely and now I'm going to click play uh, as you can see it fades pretty nicely and then it will fade into the game once we've finished fading we want it to broadcast another message so once again go to events broadcast and we want to put this at the bottom here we're going to new message I'm going to call this one game. See you guys in part two. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Goodbye.